Blood and Lymph Hemopoiesis The main questions of the lecture Blood belongs to tissues of the inner medium to connective tissues It circulates inside the cardiovascular system The amount of blood is about 5-6 liters. The heart pumps the blood into the blood vessels. Functions of the blood. The main function is transport. Delivery of oxygen and nutrients to the cells and organs and removal of carbon dioxide and metabolites. Transport of hormones and many, many other active substances in the body. Protective function means participation of blood in immune reactions. Homeostatic, it means that blood supports the stability of the body in a media temperature, acid base, and osmotic balance. Coagulation to stop blood flow in case of damage of vessels. Blood consists of plasma and cells, former elements. That this correlation called a hematocrit this is the blood before and after centrifugation. After centrifugation, it divided into two parts. Red precipitate, it former elements, about 45%, and plasma, 55%. Blood plasma consists of water, inorganic, and organic substances. Organic substances consist of proteins, lipids, and carbohydrates. The main proteins are albumins, globulins, and fibrinogen. The blood plasma you will study in details during the course of biochemistry. In histology, we'll study microscopic structure of blood, in particular, former elements. To study the microscopic structure of former elements, necessary to prepare the blood smear. Uh, take the small drop of blood from the fingertip, place it on the glass, and using another glass, prepare the thin smear. And under microscope, you can see former elements, red blood cells, they're the most numerous, white blood cells, leukocytes, and platelets. Erythrocytes resemble a beacon cave shape disc. In diameters of erythrocytes about 7-8 micrometers. In the middle, the thickness less than 1 micrometer, and the periphery about 2 micrometers. This size shape, typical for about 75% of erythrocytes. They're called nomocytes. There are also some bigger cells, macrocytes, 
or smaller cells called microcytes. Erythrocytes contain no nucleus and organelles, and the cytoplasm filled by pigment inclusion hemoglobin necessary for transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide. And the amount of erythrocytes is much as 100 millions in blood drop. This is a normal shape of erythrocytes visible under scan electron microscopy. These are pathological shapes, hinocytes, these processes, or stomatocytes with invaginations. The shape of erythrocytes depends on cytoskeleton, which consists of actin, spectrin, anchorin, bent 3 and 4 proteins. On the after surface of plasma membrane, there is glycocalyx and it's responsible for antigen properties of erythrocytes. In particular, it contains A and B antigens responsible for AB0 blood group system. If glycocalyx of erythrocytes contain antigen A, it will be a group A. If antigen B, blood group B. If both A and B antigens, AB a group. If no antigens, zero blood group. Glycocalyx also contain uh, resist antigen. Erythrocytes hemolysis, it's destruction of plasma membrane and release of glycogen into the plasma. You see here the shadow of erythrocytes, uh, the empty erythrocytes or the plasma membrane only. Leukocytes, about uh, one leukocyte per thousands erythrocyte. Leukocytes contains nucleus and organelles. They can uh, leave blood for loose con connective tissue and then can move effectively using pseudopodia. Leukocytes divided for two groups, granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granulocytes contain specific granules in the cytoplasm. This granularity may be neutrophil or staining by dyes. Eosinophils stained by eosin dyes in orange or red, and basophils contain um, basic, usually um, dark blue granularity. Our granulocytes contain no specific granularity, and they consist of lymphocytes and monocytes. Shortly about every type of leukocytes. Neutrophils. The nuclei are highly segmented. Consist of four or five segments connected these bridges. In the cytoplasm there is small specific granules visible under light microscope. Also azorophilic granules and specific granules uh, which are lysosomes. The lifespan of neutrophils in blood about 
15 hours. It should be noted that all leukocytes spent in blood only several hours then leave the bloodstream, uh, move through the wall of small blood vessels and carry out the specific functions in tissues outside blood. And the life span of leukocytes outside blood in several days. So the size of neutrophils between 9 and 12 microns so they some bigger as compared to erythrocytes. Neutrophils, phagocyte, bacteria So they call microphages, like small eaters. They catch bacteria and destroy digested using azerophilic granulas, lysosomes, and specific neutrophil uh, granulas containing lysozyme, lactoferrin, and so on. They destroy bacteria, but sometimes died during that process. Eosinophils, some bigger than neutrophils, the nucleus segmented but not intensive as neutrophils. Cytoplasm contain pink or orange red specific granularity. These are grains under electron microscope all in shape and under high magnification containing the crystalline core and matrix as is nephil granulus containing gistaminase which destroy bacterial membrane as nephils decrease the allergic reactions by removing of gistamine and inactivation of it by gistaminase and inhibition of mast cells degranulation and antiparasitic action of Eosinophils, also well known. Basophils, some smaller but bigger than erythrocytes. They contain large basophilic granules under light microscope. They mask the basophil nucleus, but under electro microscope the nucleus is visible quite well. It also segmented and these basophil granulus contain gistamine and heparin and gistamine responsible for immediate hypersensitive reaction for allergic reaction. It stimulate inflammation, dilatation of small blood vessels, increase the permeability blood vessels. The lifespan up to 18 days, mostly in tissues. Agranulocytes, lymphocytes, slightly bigger as compared to erythrocytes. It contains a dark blue, small, round nucleus. And this uh, narrow rim of blue cytoplasm around. This is a lymphocyte under electron microscope nucleus and cytoplasm with organelles and mitochondria in particular. Lymphocytes may be large, middle and small, large, uh, young, undifferentiated form and in uh, blood predominate 
middle and especially small lymphocytes. Lymphocytes may be B, T and null natural killers. B lymphocytes developed in red bone marrow completely and T lymphocytes developed in uh, thymus from uh, procasus which come in thymus from uh, red bone marrow. In the uh, usual smears under light microscope it's not possible to recognize T and B lymphocytes necessary to use and the immunogistochemical methods with antibodies against specific receptors of T and B lymphocytes. Under scan electron microscope you can recognize these lymphocytes on their shape. T lymphocytes have processes on the surface. This is T lymphocytes among erythrocytes. Monocytes, the biggest cells of blood. In blood smear it can reach 18 microns in diameter, so it two, two and a half times bigger as compared to erythrocytes. Monocytes has bean shaped nucleus, no specific granularity in cytoplasm, but it has a specific granularity lysosomes as well as many other organelles, for example, mitochondria, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, and so on. Monocytes can move through the capillary wall and transform to macrophages. All macrophages of the body derive from monocytes of blood. And these many types of macrophages combine to mononuclear phagocyte system. Leukocyte differential count, leukocyte formula, it's percent composition of leukocytes in blood. The most numerous neutrophils between 60 and 75 percent. Second place lymphocytes between 20 and 35 percent. Then monocytes 6-8 percent. Eosinophils between 0.5 and 5 percent and less numerous uh, basophils between 0.5 and 1 percent. Platelets or thrombocytes the size between 2 and 3 microns so they're much smaller as compared to erythrocytes. There are two, three hundred millions of platelets per, per liter. It's about one platelet for 20 erythrocytes. Lifespan between 7 and 10 days. They appeared in a red bone row. The pieces of cytoplasm of megakarocytes. Else, these very big nuclei and a big amount of cytoplasm. Platelets died mostly in spleen. Platelets contain no nucleus but numerous organelles and granules. And these grains concentrated in the center of platelet, in which called granulomer, containing organelles, granules, and glycogen, and at the periphery, the alomer consists mostly of cytoskeleton microtubules. Cytoskeleton provide 
to place later the possibility to move actively this pseudopoda. This is a nice picture of beginning of clotinum blood. This is scan electron microscopy of the blood. Usually electronograms black and white, but there the painter stain erythrocytes in red, platelets in blue, and fibers of fibrils in yellow, fibers of fibrin, which appeared from protein fibrin gen diluted in blood plasma. This is the clot formation. When the blood vessel wall damaged, the bleeding start to prevent bleeding platelets aggregated it called white clot. Then they release the factor of coagulation platelet thromboplastin which initiate conversion of fibrinogen to fibrin and uh, fibers of fibrin compose a network to catch stop erythrocytes and produce a red clot which close the defect in the vessel wall and stop bleeding. Lymph appeared from tissue fluid which appeared from blood plasma during the exchange of substances through the blood capillaries wall between blood and tissues, plasma leave the blood vessels and it called tissue fluid and it collected by fatigue capillaries and this lymph flow through the small lymphatic vessels through the regional lymph nodes where lymph enriched by lymphocytes. 98% of formed elements of lymph are lymphocytes. Only 1-2% are other leukocytes and single erythrocytes. And then lymph flow to the big and bigger lymphatic vessels which enter fuse the veins of upper part of thorax. So lymph derived from blood and included into the blood finally. Hemopoiesis development of blood former elements. It may be embryonic hemopoiesis, formation of blood as a tissue, and post-embryonic hemopoiesis, process of renovation, regeneration of blood in adult. Embryonic hemopoiesis start as early as the third week of embryogenesis in Mesenheim of York Sack where the first blast vessels appeared and first erythrocytes developed inside blood vessels. Later this process moved to the liver and then to the thymus, spleen and bone marrow and finally it concentrated in red bone marrow. In adult it took place only red bone marrow and partly in lymphoid organs only. So the former elements formation take place not in the blood itself but outside in the special organs of hemopoiesis. It necessary 
because the lifespan of former elements not big maximal for erythrocytes 120 days and minimal for platelets up to 7 days after that the former elements destroyed and died and they should be replaced for new ones but former elements are highly specialized cells which cannot divide it in blood so they should be replaced by new cells developed outside the bloodstream scheme of hemopiasis hemopiasis consists of six stages all blood cells all former elements developed from one type of cell to call stem cells so the first stage of hemopiasis is the stem cells they store the information about hemopiasis and they can divide it for semi-stem cells multipotent cells the cell precursor of melopiasis colony forming unit of melopiasis and responsible for lymphopiasis colony forming units of lymphopiasis third stage and class of cells unipotent cells colony forming units for every type of former elements there are eight types of former elements and eight types of unipotent cells so colony forming units for monocytes three colony forming units unipotent cells for granulocytes neutrophils, eosinophils and basophils colony forming units for megakarocytes colony forming units for erythrocytes and for T and B lymphocytes the fourth stage every unipotent cell convert to corresponding blasts monoblasts three meloblasts megakaryoblast erythroblast T and B lymphoblasts fifth stage differentiation formation of mature former elements from precursors it consists of one or several levels during differentiation monoblast converted pro monocyte and to monocyte meloblasts converted to pro melocytes melocytes metamelocytes and step leukocytes and then to segmented granulocytes the segmented nuclei what happened with granulocytes during development their size decrease the size of nuclei decrease the shape changed initially the uh, nuclei around then uh, bean shape then step rod shape then segmented in mature granulocytes and third type of events accumulation of specific granularity in the cytoplasm neutrophil eosinophil or basophil granularity what happened during 
platelets formation, megacaroblast converted to pre-megacaroside, where by polyploidy and the amount of nuclei increased many times and nucleus start to look like the branch of grape the amount of cytoplasm increased significantly and finally the simplest megacaroside appeared and pieces of cytoplasm of megacaroside are platelets which leave the red bone marrow and circulate in blood. For erythrocytes, erythroblast converted to proerythroblast, then to basophilic, polychromatophilic, and toxophilic erythroblasts, then reticulocytes and erythrocyte. Necessary to understand the changes during erythrocyte development. What you see? Decrease in size of the cells. Decrease the size of nucleus. And finally, nucleus disappeared. Leave the cell. And final precursor of erythrocyte reticulocyte contain few organelles, ribosomes. Changes in color of cytoplasm, first in basophilic erythroblasts, the cytoplasm became blue, basophilic, because of free ribosomes accumulation. Why it necessary? because free ribosomes synthesized protein hemoglobin and hemoglobin is oxyphilic so in polychromatophilic erythroblasts a lot of ribosomes still exist which provide basophily and synthesized hemoglobin accumulated which provide oxyphilic red color so the mixture of blue and red provide violet staining and then ribosomes disappeared no blue color and hemoglobin still exist and provide the red pink color of cytoplasm like in erythrocytes so all former elements of bloods developed in uh, red bone marrow for exception of T lymphocytes which developed in thymus from uh, procursus